thank you all so much for coming, and thank you all for staying to the very last moment. And I'm about to find out what many of you that came here think is the best of my work. It's a little scary. More than two years ago, the Friends of Quiet Waters Park sent Raleigh a message saying, we would like to invite you to do a solo show. Today you have seen that show, and almost all the work that you've seen today, she did in the last two years. So, Thank you. beautiful work, I think you would agree, and you have chosen best in show. So, Joel and I are going to start, and we are going to announce now the best in show, starting with number three. Well, without further ado, number three is Sunrise Over Corolla, which I believe is up there oh. just out of here. Oh, yes. it's upstairs. Thank you, Patty, so for taking us to Corolla. Which number? Second place goes to number six, Exterior Clothes Up. That would be this painting. And now for number one, which is very difficult amidst all this extraordinary work all in one place. But number one is in this room. With 50 votes. And it goes to Interior Clothes de Goss, which is right here, number one. And an excellent choice. My job, I'll make it short, but my job is to say something about this. And um, uh, let's see. So a part of um, what motivates me to paint is that I see many things, as we all do, that touch me. And I go, oh, look at that light, or that color, or that scene. And I, and I kind of fall in love with it. And what I do in my painting is I try to capture that and be with it so that I really know what it was that I saw. And so um, when I worked on this, it took me hours and hours to do, especially this floor, mm -hmm. which I, I wish my friend Sherry Sanabria were here because I called her up practically near tree, tears saying, how do you do a floor like that? Because of the perspective and so forth. Um, but in the end, we made friends. And I was able to capture the light that I saw that day. And what I like about this painting is that <coughs> while it's very realistic, and that is exactly the kind of thing that I saw with this bold light, if you look at it and you don't think about what it is, it is a completely abstract painting. Mm -hmm. So with some big thing going across and so forth. So, and, um, and I love the colors that Michael Graves chose to do the interior. If you look through my work, you'll see there's a lot of sort of rust color in there. Um, so thank you for liking that and thank you for voting for that. I, Really appreciate you all being here so much. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Years ago, John and I had dinner in this window, and then we walked up the street, and we walked up there. Um, the light was horrible. We took lots of pictures of sort of the semi-dark, as you can tell with the lights coming on. And then this past year, when we met our friends in Paris, I wanted to go back and see this, and I saw that. And so uh, these are favorites of mine. They, they speak to my heart. And I'm looking at Shelley and Mike, who spent a year in France and invited us to go there. And um, that was in southern France. And their house is over in the corner. And so again, France um, spoke to me. I don't know why, but uh, as I tell my husband, it's only an accident of birth that I was not born on that street, Danielle, uh, in Paris, where we were recently.